Well, we are re finally ready with our setup, so I think it's time for Ape Escape 2 by Recalls. Good luck, Recalls. What is up on this wonderful Monday morning? Thank you. So that was a little bit too loud. <laughs> Any case, Ape Escape 2 for the PlayStation 2 home entertainment system. How about we go straight into it? Also important, we're catching monkeys and there is a donation incentive as you can see below. It just <laughs> disappeared from the Omni bar. However, if you want to see all these wonderful monkeys playing football or in American terms soccer against against each other, well, you're in for a treat. It's good. Right, if we can have a countdown. Three, two, one, go! So, this is a story all about how... <laughs> all about how Hikaru being a lab assistant and he kind of messed something up. These uh, monkey helmets that you can see on top of these monkeys, they make the monkeys so much smarter and that's not... Well, that's not a problem per se. However, uh, there's this one leader monkey and he makes... He wants to have world domination. I don't know why, it's just boring. But yeah, enough lore about Ape Escape. This is Ape Escape 2. And it has a pretty unique control scheme. You move with your left analog stick and you pause the game with start. Okay, that's probably what everyone knows already. The differences are in the top right, you can see the gadgets. Uh, Basically the gadget uh has a display. And here's another gadget which we'll never use probably since it's only helpful for uh, people who don't know where monkeys are. Other than that, the D-pad actually is the camera, which in all other games it should be the right analog stick. He's making a monkey out of me. There we go. Jumping you do with the right shoulder buttons and if you press both of them at the same time you do a rocket dive like you can see right here If you actually take a look at the character model, you can see that he has kind of a band-aid on his forehead, which is totally understandable looking at his looking at how he rocket dives You can barely see it right here. No, you can't That's unfortunate so, another mechanic that I should probably explain, there are a lot of different monkeys. You saw that I got one monkey with yellow pants, which are basically the one of your male standard monkeys, no outstanding traits. And then introduced in the last level, there is this uh, light blue, yeah, the light blue monkeys. And I just call them light blue monkeys, not light blue pants monkeys, that's weird. They, well, they're not as, as happy, they're not... They're not fighting back, let's say that, or very rarely. He was slapping his butt at us and I'm I'm not okay with that. And there are like monkeys that like really blend in. They don't have a color, they're just random, rainbow colored, I guess. And this is a pretty cool catch. Oh, okay, we didn't get it. First try at least. Okay, so there's a monkey on top of this bridge, but is he really annoying to catch normally? Here, I just caught him through the bridge. That is because the monkey net is broken. In Ape Escape 1, it's a little bit worse. In Ape Escape 3, they completely fixed it. Since you need to catch every monkey with a lock-on procedure. Unless you're in a transformation. But more about that tomorrow. Watch that run. It's a good game. And in Ape Escape 2, you can either lock onto monkeys or just swing uh, swing at them and go fast. However, the net only has to catch monkeys, only has to touch monkeys in order for the actual catching. So we just got the one item that makes it go fast, which is a dash hoop. And see this item menu? Don't get used to it. Introduced in this level are the blue monkeys, and they're fast. That's why you get 
Okay, we fell on top of there. That's... This is not Smash Brothers Brawl. Yeah, the dash hoop. For some reason, you can't dash up upstairs without uh, letting go of the unlock stick. Not sure why. Also, that jump, that's called a boost jump. You're not supposed to make it. However, by... Or a net boost jump. There we go. You can get that little bit of extra height just to make all those weird... Weird jumps. Oh, there's one more monkey. This is, uh, this is Trip. He trips, like, every five seconds. Makes him the easiest blue monkey of the game. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, item switching. Yeah, don't get used to that menu, because only in the Japanese version. You can uh, switch or cycle for gadgets as if it was Apescape free. I'm not sure why, why Ubisoft removed it or they just didn't get the correct build. Who knows? Also new to Ape Escape 2 in comparison to 1. Boss fights! Okay, we're using the Monkey Raider. Why not? So we're manipulating Blue Monkey in such a way... That he has no choice but to come uh, come to my place and hang out. Because normally it's like programmed to like go away. But if we're fast enough, he can't cross those bri those uh, red light bridges. Just jump. And he doesn't come that this way, so I have to go to him. All in all, not a bad not a bad fight. I mean, you have to. You only have like a time frame of a few frames. Well, a few frames, maybe a second or so to hit him. Otherwise, he just goes on his way, and you have to fight him normally. Yeah, this was a good showcase of it. A little bit of background why the controls are a bit weird, by the way. Ape Escape for the PlayStation 1 was the first game that required the DualShock controller with both analog sticks. And that's why you attack mostly with, with those. And the face buttons literally are just item select. So manipulating this guy to go left. And quite quickly. Do we have time for a long donation? Uh, if you give me a little bit, I'm just, I'm going uh, through this uh, level the wrong way, like from the back, which is something you'll see a lot, as it's just faster for routing, and heck yeah, double catch. Alright, come on with a donation. Okay, we got a 2 euro donation from Kepan saying, Recode isn't so great, are you kidding me? When was the last time you saw a player with such an ability and movement with Hikaru? We put the game in another level. When we will be blessed if we ever see a player with with his skill and passion for the game again. Squad breaks records. Azus Azazu breaks records. Recode breaks the rules. You can keep your st statistics. Uh, statistics st yes thank you i prefer the monkey magic <laughs> shout out to captain or captain thanks for the kind words man yeah that was castle frightmare the only like holler based level and currently we're going into f the fight Z banana factory uh, and this is the one level with one of the big skips that needed to happen, and guess what? They did happen. Because uh, there's like a really long hallway with... Oh, this monkey has a gun and he's annoying. And you have to go through that with a pretty slow... Slow um, mech suit. However, we can skip all of that with a long jump. Shout out to Marathon Luck.
Every marathon run. Every, everyone. There we go. There we go. First try. Bunch of memers. That was fourth try. Okay, so this is the place I was talking about, or at least this is the max suit I was talking about. Look at how fast he goes. Formula 1 speed, oh man. So happy we can we can actually skip that. And yeah, I didn't wet or oh oops. I didn't lose any time with that. Recalls can count to three. Confirmed. So the fighters leaf uh, bananas are a thing that are fed to the like the bosses, the freaky monkey five. I've never called them by their name. And that's what made them like so big and powerful, I guess. So the blue monkeys obviously are fast and he got the speeds and his unicycle, which is pretty cool. Alright, introduced in this level is a slingshot. And if you know your Ape Escape 1, well the slingshot is broken. You could do something called an infinite jump with it. In Ape Escape 3, it's... Uh, you have to use a menu for it, or kind of frame-perfect inputs, to get some extra height about it. And in Ape Escape 2, well, it's, it's not different. Every slingshot in every Ape Escape game allows you to gain some extra vertical distance. Also introduced in Casino Cities. Monkeys with black pants. And they're basically straight from the hood. They can't aim with their UZ. Oh. Something else worth mentioning is that every time that I catch a monkey, I do something called uh, an, an animation cancel. Because after catching every monkey, you go into a little animation, like 0.8 seconds or so, but you can skip that animation by switching to a different gadget other than the net. Okay, that's what I was talking about. That's called an air float. Or an air crawl. Because you, because you go up with air crawl, yeah, by crawling in the air. Like, yeah, crawling in the air, I guess. Uh, I'll catch you later. You're... You're a good last monkey. Assuming this one doesn't go away. Never mind. Whatever, he's not the, he's not the final monkey. There we go. I heard that monkey on the tightrope actually escape, and he's pretty awful to get, so this might have been the faster route for that. The faster route, rather. Thank to work on the British. But then with that... Ah, the professor is back and he actually took our little mo little monkey. Because it's way too dangerous for our little Pipachi. Who has a friendly Pipo helmet. Meaning he doesn't go bad and we have to catch him. Just like the other ones. All right, it's time for Ninja Hideout. With, well, the most underwhelming thingy. I mean, playing with the RC car is pretty cool. Playing with two characters almost. It's not the best item, unfortunately. You don't get a lot of mileage in speedruns. Going over the gates because going through is overrated. And yes, all of these enemies are basically Pigs with, uh, with poop on their heads. There, I said it. In Fighter Z Factory, they're, they're actually pig tanks. And they actually have poop on their heads. Can we get a boost jump out of here? N nope. One more. Nope. This one can be quite annoying. You can just catch him through the fence. 
Because we have a magic... Well, I mean, it's already a magic time net. Because if I'm, if I'm getting caught, I actually get teleported to Monkey Park. If you catch, uh, can catch things through solid items, I mean, I agree. I'll take, I'll take two of them. And all of these monkeys are ninja themed, which is pretty cool. But they have like region specific clothing. Let's see if I can make this long jump. Now that I actually... No. That's a hard jump to do. If you actually hit these ninja monkeys, they go into a sort of anime... Oh no, I've been hit. Whatever shall I do? Pose. And it takes like way too long. But the monkeys are like super easy to catch. Alright. Time for something. Uh, time for something. This is the second member of the Freaky Monkey 5. This is Yellow Monkey. And I'm not gonna introduce him. That's up to him. That's all you need to see. To know what kind of monkey he is. He's uh, pretty interesting. Sumo wrestler. In Casino City, we picked up some explosives. And with those, we can actually end the fights like, way sooner than intended. Because it's not a cycle-based fight. All bosses just have a lot of health. And by shooting it in with three explosives, we can actually end the fight like one, one hit early. So, the cutscene will happen like right now. And instead of catching Yellow Monkey... Oh, that's a nice shot. Instead of catching him, he will actually try to seduce you and then jump away. So, we didn't catch him just yet. But we'll do so later. I'm also not sure why he tries to seduce you, but it's a good cutscene, honestly. Another piece of interesting uh, trivia is that the guy that we're playing as, Hikaru, and the lady that the camera just zoomed on, uh, Natsumi, they have the same voice actors as Ash and Mit Mit uh, Misty from the American Pokemon anime. And that's only a thing in the American version of the game because Europe got its own localization with British accents. And hello. Yeah, the voices are literally unchanged. So if you close your eyes, you could actually hear that. Not now. This is the Japanese version. Okay, the next area is actually not as not as fun. It's a giant mountain. And six monkeys are actually all sliding off all at the same time. So we have to be really, really good in our monkey management. That's a thing. Try not to let any of them pass. This is the, bl the only blue monkey. He's the hardest one to get. So it's not a problem if he escapes. At least in any percent. Okay, monkey management. There's one here. Ah, that was not that bad. So he's coming up next. Ah, that one. Yeah, we're going to uh, make abuse of the slingshot glitch like a lot. I mean, we're obviously we're going to shoot it like or use it like a normal slingshot, but that's not that's not the most fun thing. Speaking about that, this is the actual item that's supposed to give you height, the propeller. We're not going to use it a lot. Do I use it in this level? There are like a few rods you can you can use, or rods, a few straps. But like nowadays, I'm not even using it anymore. Not much. 
However, there's a pretty interesting glitch that we're going to do in... What's it going to be, like 10 minutes? It basically uses the propeller and the slingshot glitch. Okay. I missed. The set of inputs for the air crawl is actually convoluted. First you have to jump, then you have to aim by pulling back on the analog stick. After that, you need to crawl and then go out of uh, yeah, go out of A mode. And you have to do that all in like ha within half a second. So you're going to mash the jump button like three times in a row. And how they did it actually is in Ape Escape One, you could do infinite jumps by using the slingshot in the first. <coughs> By using the slingshot in the first person mode. And they fixed that in this game. So, I mean, if you stand, what can you do? You can crawl. So if you go into aiming mode and crawl in midair, then the game thinks, oh, uh, something is happening. And that's why you gain a lot of height. And the faster you do it, the faster you go up. Sometimes you, you want that it's not as uh, fast or like that it doesn't go up at all. If you're crossing gaps. But generally, you want the height. <clears throat> okay, the blue baboon. Literally. Super Mario Sunshine. Getting a cutscene right here that our little monkey companion. He disappeared. We might have to find him. But that's, that's story stuff. Getting the newest member of our gadget family, the banana. The banana rang, to be exact. With a monkey, you can actually lure monkeys to, your, uh, to yourself. Make them easier to catch. And if you use the monkey raider, actually, you can see all the stats of the monkeys. And that only works on the monkeys that have... Okay. Hello, chocolate jellyfish. I hate that enemy. That's the banana rang, by the way. On... Um, Monkeys that that have an empty stomach, so you can't use them on all of them But there are some monkeys in the game that are in those little houses And you need to lure them with the banana ring to be able to catch them actually So now I need to be really quick and not let this monkey see me from too far There we go. I caught him before he was able to go into the UFO. Otherwise I had to break that thing down and that's the thing, by the way, there are three versions of this game. Well, a bit more, but... Generally, there's the Japanese version, the one we're playing at. Which is the best version for the PlayStation 2. And PS3, if you can get it. There's the PAL version. Push jumps are a bit harder than that, since it's 50 FPS rather than 60. And there's the, the American version, NTSC. And that version... It's a little bit harder, since monkeys can see you from twice as far as away. Uh, hello. Oh, nice! I grabbed a cookie in midair. So we're just beating up Pink Monkey. She, uh, she's giving up concerts. Pretty cool. Doshite. And she gets mad. She doesn't want to take over the world, she just wants to perform, and look what we did. So this boss is uh, completely RNG based. She could give us a few attacks here. And that was the slowest attack we can get on Japanese, because on Japanese only, if you stand in these corners, she can't do the worst attack, which is electricity. So we're getting awful RNG. She's throwing bombs right now. But she can also throw... Uh, dolphins? 
beach balls and what are they called jacks not sure okay we got the worst rng possible nice it's not too bad since you can like farm for health here but yeah we're not getting any of it that's pretty interesting other than that not not too bad of a fight Yet, there are a lot of people actually playing on the American version, which is nice, but yet they don't have the quick item switching. Same as spell. I believe Ubisoft has got an early build and they put the item switching like last. I'm not sure how that goes. Okay, right after Ping Monkey, this level happens. I'm actually going to. Uh, pan the camera up to reduce lag because we need to get 17 monkeys and these are seven of them. So again, we have to use our our super good monkey management to make to catch all of these monkeys as optimally as possible. Which so good, I lo I lost these those two. Double catch, I'll take it. That's good. Do we have time for a quick donation? Uh, yeah, sure. We got a 5 euro donation from Pallister saying, Man, BSG Annual is pretty great. These past few days have been pretty entertaining. Thanks for all the ones, lads. Money goes to Block Incentive because secrets! And talking about incentives, uh, we still have the uh, Apex Skate 2 uh, Monkey Football incentive where we still need a little bit over 50 euros to be met so if you want that to happen please donate all of the monkeys in this level are basically martial arts bosses even the one that normally don't fight back they 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 pack a mean points You probably also saw me like stop and like before actually using the dash hoop, I activated from uh, still stand instead of running. That is because if you go over a little slope for some reason, also this is pretty cool out of bounds. Oh, that's unfortunate out of bounds. For some reason, if you start from a standstill, you don't have to restart your dash hoop like every time. Okay, that was my fault. I'll try it once more. I mean, why not? What can happen? There we go. I mean, there's a safe way of like not doing that. Where's the fun in that? If I jump from a specific spot, this monkey will not see us. Now, now he's uh, he just kicked me in the nuts. What a guy! Okay. And the dash tube actually is a pretty cool tool. Okay, this guy just has a gun and he he doesn't even run away, he just shoots. What a boss. Yeah, like I said, the dash hoop actually can stun a lot of the monkeys, which makes catching them super, super easy. Alright, that's the end of Enter the Monkey. Pretty scary stage. There are only two monkeys left that we didn't caught. Yeah, that we didn't catch. And if you have the pal version and you come back after beating the first main boss or if you have the expansion disc for the japanese version which is a pretty cool thing and there's actually an extra monkey right there and he's called son goku or goku on the pal version speaking about that this might be one of the, f the first games where there's a basically a bonus disc where 
you play a mini game, and then stuff gets loaded on top of, in, on your save file on your memory cards, and you get, just get three extra monkeys and a different kind of net. Basically, the net that you use underwater. However, on land. However, that's banned since not everyone can get it. It's a pretty rare disc. Okay, these are the last type of new monkeys that we haven't got, that haven't seen yet. Green monkeys. They can see you from very far away, but only if you move. But if you stand still, it's like really bad. And they have rocket backpacks, meaning they're, yeah, they're quite dangerous. And if you're wondering, yes, I do own one of those discs. And actually use it in new... Oh. It's about we missed a cycle. In New Game Plus. New Game Plus, for those wondering, that is also a thing in this game. And you basically start out with all of the items making routing in this game really different. Because now I have to work with restrictions. Because I can't catch all the monkeys at the start. Because I need certain items. But there, you can. So, the route immediately becomes different since there are just so many better options and there are some other categories all monkeys for example skipping this uh, mini boss over here we're going on top of here there's all monkeys which is like you route the monk catching the monkeys in such a way that the second time you come back that it's just like Either super fast or the other way around. Better routes, like, make sense. Oh, I'm almost dead. Let's see if we can get some cookies. Ah, yeah. Get three of them. Do we have time for a quick donation? And then with all monkeys, you just go all out. Yep, yeah, you can go. Actually, before I do that, there's a glitch coming up right here with the propeller. The sky flyer. Where if I actually jump and... Like that, I can go into the aquarium, catching this monkey. Catching this monkey, maybe. He's, he's not helping. I need to catch him from the absolute top of the... Yeah, and I can just clip out like that. That was actually slower. Yeah, go on. You can go on with the donation. We got a 10 euro donation from Danilion saying, For the penguins, noob noob. And this put has... This 10 euro donation has put us closer to the 8th uh, fo football game after this run. For the penguins, I do agree. They're one of the better animals on the planet, if not the best. Change my mind. Yeah, that's a Skyfire glitch that basically works because if you jump from a place, the Skyflyer is only supposed to uh, increase your height until a certain point. It doesn't matter if you jump or double jump, you always go to a certain place. And the Skyflyer basically teleported me downstairs rather than up. I mean, we can just like clip in place where we're not supposed to be. You'll actually see it a lot more in any percents or in all monkeys. So first of all, doesn't matter what category you play. The route for this level is pretty much the same, at least the first visits. First of all, we're getting some more explosives. There's another one here. And because we're on kind of a secluded island, we just dam or yeah, death abuse. Spawn right here in front of another monkey. As you guessed it right, we're, we went through the back entrance and we're just working our way forwards, meaning that obstacles work in our favor. Good. 
That's not the best of trick uh, uses of that trick to use there, but I guess that, that works. The Skyflyer boost actually works because the net is like so broken. Catching this one monkey at the end of this uh, pyramid before going out the actual route. It's actually a, a yeah, pretty cool out of bounds going on right here. However, and I hope I can actually see where I'm going. Hope the brightness is good. Uh, it it is. Cool. I can see where I'm going. It was on darker TVs. You, it's just a, a black space, and you have, have no clue where to go there. Okay, and that's this one. This one already. And right after this level, there's a boss fight. Well, we've seen Blue Monkey, who is fast. Yellow, who is special. And Pink Monkey, there are no regular pink monkeys, I guess. But the next one is white. And from all from eating all those performance enhancing bananas, he got the smarts. And his master plan is okay, there's a robot from Hikaru. He's or he's beating all of us. Let's build a robot out of him. However, he forgot one thing. He has a weak spot on the back. So because we have a new strat for the final boss, we have some explosives for this one. And, we, and that's making use of explosives. However, we only have three. We need to hit all three. Otherwise, we can't end this fight like sooner. Also, I also can't hit him like way too early because if I do, I'll actually waste some time because he will just stay on the ground for way too long. Oh wait, this is the last hit already. Uh, I want to show something cool with the banana ring. Now I can hit him early. Where is he? His movement is like really weird. So he goes slow and then he goes fast again. And slow. We actually have to like watch out with how... When we shoot the explosive pellets. Yeah, that was a really good white fight. In the American dub... He actually is like a crazy German scientist. I mean, he looks like that. With his 3D goggles. What a man. Alright, next up is Pirate Island. And it's a pretty interesting place. However, it's not one of my favorite levels. Mostly because of the damage boosting that you have to do here. Alright, starting off. The monkeys from that, uh, that movie. I forgot what it's called. Some monkeys that for some reason like to go... Like being used as cannonballs. And if we're fast, we can actually catch them before they do that. They will actually be covered in black if they've been shot out of the cannon. There's some more, and hopefully we won't see it, but who knows. And in true BC fashion, here's a lava boost. There we go. The Titanic, that's a movie. They were doing the, the Titanic. This monkey, he has a pretty cool name. His full name is Richard, but it's shortened. Okay, we have enough. Never mind, never mind. One way to ruin that. You could skip that thing, but I didn't do the. <clears throat> do, the do the rocket dive. Alrighty. Where is this monkey? He likes jumping around from little island to island. And then here we have to take two damage. There's no way to not do it without going fast, I guess. So this is a pretty cool mini boss and 
there was a strat for him. However, that was like alternating between the chainsaw and the back. However, the actual demo screen, if you don't touch the game for a bit, actually had a better strat than us speedrunners. So we, we, yeah, we started doing that. And that's Pirate Island already. Next up is another level where we need to do a lot of damage boosting. As well as being the second snow level of the game. And let's say that they did something really, really awful at the beginning, but more on that later. And for those BSG fans out there, it's not a lava boost, but it's close enough. It's a yeah, ice water boost. If you're not careful enough, you can actually get stuck beneath one of those moving platforms. And you just die. Okay, these blue monkeys, they're, they're fast. Most importantly, they're on ice. Unfortunately, they were good for us. It's actually pretty funny because every monkey has their own AI and it's pretty random what, what I do. You can manipulate it in such a way, but for monkeys like that, there's like nothing you can do against it if they're like going all out. Okay, coming up is the sauna and well, these monkeys are just, they just chill. Let's chill. This guy doesn't even wear pants. There is this guy who is, uh, well, doing that. Then a pretty nifty double catch over here. And then the stupid monkey trio. Hear no evil, smell no evil, speak no evil. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. And they're pretty hard to like catch in one go, I would say. Or at least control them. Like the blue monkey, the fast one, he already like booked it. With the magic punch is like way easier. Yeah, they didn't give me too much troubles. And then the next level should be a pretty cool one. So in Ape Escape 1, you actually do time travel. You start with the dinosaurs, go to ice, uh, the ice area, and the Chinese medieval areas, whatever. And then you uh, return to your own thingies. In this game, they actually just go, the monkeys go to like places that are like now. So you just teleport rather than try and, try and travel. And they're trying to make it so that the monkeys have always been there. Like in the first level, there's a Statue of Liberty, but it's actually a monkey. And well, there are dinosaurs in this level. So does that mean that dinosaurs are not extinct? This level is called the Lost World, or not the Last World. Actually, it is called the Lost World. Oh. I saw the slowdown there. That is because I didn't actually hold my uh, my camera out to the top because the lag in this game can be like really, really bad. I've been doing a lot of camera manipulation already. And in some places, it's just, like really noticeable if you don't do it. Just using Skyflyer. Not Skyflyer. The air crawl to just traverse through like this whole place. And there's this one monkey doing the same animation as the stupid monkey trio. 
one person just made that animation and he wanted to use it like everywhere. So they gave it to him in the next level. So the next area is pretty interesting. There are three monkeys just dancing around and then there is a T-Rex behind them. And if I do this, well, if I have luck, which I had, this is like perfect. I hit this blue monkey and then I jumped and tried to catch the, the red monkey. The red monkey actually punched down the yellow monkey, meaning that I caught him. And then the other two monkeys are on the floor, which is like pretty perfect. I don't think I'm fast. No, I'm not. We're fast enough. This monkey won't even like jump all the way back here. There's some air, yeah, air crawl problems. There we go. Yeah, pretty big stage, but not not too long. Actually, let's see if we can 360 no scope this guy. Cookie. Okay, I didn't. Using the, <clears throat> the slingshot for its actual use, shooting pallets. Okay, time for the leader of the Freaky Monkey 5. Who is. He's a special kind of guy. He's more special than Ape Escape 3. However, he has the same. Kind of, uh, yeah, attack set. So yeah, introducing Red Monkey. He's a, he's a boxer. He has a cape. All superheroes wear capes. And gave us bad luck. He can start by doing that attack or not by doing an attack. And I hit him. And he got so mad. He got so mad. But he jumps to that T-Rex and suplexes it. Oh. And that's basically the fight. He's going to do a fast one in the last phase, so... If... If I actually not hit him fast enough, he will do an attack. It's not too bad if he does the farting attack, because that's his, like, specialty. He farts a lot. There we go. That was good. And because there's a cutscene right here. There's an error if I press any face button. Try to equip an item. Yeah, you, you can't, obviously. Hopefully that made a lot of YouTubers angry. That's that's why we actually do that in runs. Alright, time for the final normal level, actually. And the biggest one as well. And a pretty cool item, even though it doesn't have a lot of practical use. It's the magnet. You can get metal with that. We actually do that like once or twice. Once even. So the all monkeys ride for this uh, level is actually pretty interesting. And even more interesting is New Game Plus all monkeys. Because all monkeys, here in the beginning, you will just skip them, grab all the other monkeys. And then on your second trip, you're like done in a minute. Because these monkeys are all pretty close together. He saw us. I'm going to take a death abuse. Hopefully he spawns right there. He doesn't see us in the beginning. If he didn't, makes for an easy catch. For some reason, these two monkeys actually got nerfed. The green monkey can only shoot one rocket rather than four. 
And the other one... Actually, he's not nerfed. He still shoots a pretty mean gun. And monkeys with guns are like the worst in this game. So, this monkey... We call him Window Monkey. Because there's a chance that he's actually just waiting in front of the window there. It's actually random where he spawns. And if... If he does that, we can skip a monkey later on in his hallway, which just takes the longest. Unf unfortunately, he wasn't standing close enough. Ah, I'm a cycle already, so I'll get the cookie. So I don't want to go fast here. Just want to cross the gap. So if we had a window monkey, we would have skipped this one. And just like in the third level with the bridge catch that we did, it works because the net is just so mysteriously broken. I'll take it. Hey, the sky flyer! Didn't think you would see that one soon. So under normal circumstances, this level is also pretty... Pretty slow. But there's a tank right, right here that we need to use to actually traverse this level. However... We can also skip like the, the whole parts. There we go. And just like walk over this building all the way to here and hopefully we'll make it. And oh no, we didn't make it. Which is actually intended because now we spawn there with the tank next to us, which we need. If we do this well enough, we can open the door, stun that little monkey here so that he doesn't go into that turret. And we can catch him earlier. And then just free clean up monkeys, I guess. So one. Going around so that he doesn't even see us. And then another... Yeah, collision catch. Right, that's it for all the monkeys. Magically, we now know where the final... Uh, where the final boss is, so let's go there. Between all the gameplay, by the way, yeah, we got the little monkey back. Then he got kidnapped during the white fights. White monkey fights. And we got him back in the red monkey fight. So yeah, we're now in sort of an army base, Code Chimp. And we don't need to catch monkeys, we actually just need to like reach the end of the place. So we can literally skip all of the monkeys. And we will! We will. Well actually, this is the end already. However, there's no bridge, so we can like just fly in go through and now we're at the end and if we go back we'll actually just spawn into the next fight this is specter he's the, like the main bad guy and then this majesty happens he has a he has a number of attacks this one is okay i guess drops cookies and right after every attack he goes into sucking, tries to suck you up, then he exposes his teeth, which we need to uh, punch out. This is more same attack. Not too bad. Yeah, not good either. Actually, this is not bad. And if you like do this dash attack, it is corner. He he can't hit you with that.
<clears throat> okay, this is the worst attack that he has. The punch or the, the chop attack. We want to get hit here because he will do four or five chops otherwise. So from a speedrun perspective, you don't want to get hit. There is a really easy way of not getting hit though. There's no specific pattern that I'm trying to do with a Steve. I don't believe... He's pretty, he's pretty original with his attacks. Honestly, there are like two, three other attacks that he can do. Wait, no, there are only two. Okay, I'm going to shoot, shoot him with an explosive pellet. Because why not? Okay. Oh, this is the worst. Instead of, like, on his last tooth, he's going to do two attacks. So that's one chops attack, and it's a second! I knew it. He's not, he's not... He's not helping me today. He's, he is pretty helpful with where he places the chops. You don't have to walk that much for it. Yeah, imagine actually... Wanting to get hit by a boss. There we go. And after making him toothless... Teethless. Toothless? Oh, same. You can catch him and all's good. And hey, now the cutscene. You know what that means. I'm so sorry, YouTube. I'm not. Okay, so... The, the cutscene was interrupted, but we know that... The final boss is actually on the moon. And what they're planning to do is fire a giant laser at Earth. But not a destruction laser, a lethargy laser. And what that does is it makes all of these monkeys, or all of the humans, like so lazy. They don't even want to fight back. Which is, in my opinion, a pretty cool master plan if you want to take over the world. But obviously we're the only ones able to stop them. So just like in the previous level, we only need to go to the final boss. And since every level is pretty circular, you can just go. Oh, we can just like go to the end. Then turn around and go in. So I'm doing that same Skyflyer trick as I did in the pretty blue level. By just clipping inside. And here is the final, or yeah. This is the final boss. First of all, this is, uh, yeah, this is something. If you see that, I wouldn't think that I would die, like, in a minute or five. Okay, got one cookie. Doing that thing with the sky flyer, I just did. Just to advance the fight a little bit faster. Okay, so the strat for this is... Using the strongest attack that we have. They're not explosive pellets. Well, we don't have them, so we can't use that. But the explosion of an RC car is actually stronger than a stun club. <clears throat> Do we have time for a quick donation? Uh, if you give me just a little bit. And the one who found that, because he is quits. This is actually a trick that works in Apescape 1, and he was like, hmm, can we use this in Apescape 2? And lo and behold, literally the same effect. You, you can go with your donation. If it's a fast one. Okay. At this point, you could probably, like, save it for right after the run. <clears throat> Alrighty, this is the ultimate Goliath. We don't have to use the shooting thing anymore. Got some new attacks. And... Oh, he's doing the slow attack. The, the, the punches. It's not too bad in the first phase. But in the second phase he does four punches. And on the American version of this game... He can actually do up to six punches. Where the maximum for this fight will be 8 in total, and 2 if you're really lucky. You will actually, you can actually do up to 14 punches in, yeah, on the JP version. Not sure if that's the case in PAL, 
in the European version of this game. Yeah, definitely go to JP if you're kind of serious about running this game. So we're doing a glitch here where we like get rid of that magnet thingy there. Like a little bit sooner than you're supposed to do. Alright, time is coming up in just a little bit. You're going to be a barely over one hour run. So he makes the whole area a little bit smaller. And he will do... Actually, this... That RC car is stronger than an explosive now that I think about it. Yeah, he will do three attacks. The punches, the rockets and the grab attack in any order. <clears throat> so air the rockets. And then the time is coming up. Time. Resla, I believe you had uh, something to say? Uh, yes, we had a 30 euros donation from Road saying, as promised, the final 30. Come on, guys, let those monkey play football. If you're really fast, we can still do it. Otherwise, we unfortunately have to pass it up because I believe next is... Uh, I, I will click a few times on process. Let's see if... Uh, few minutes so there's this cool anime cutscene where you want to press the button to fire the lethargy laser <laughs> luckily enough he's a pretty talkative type and well so I just spoil it he's not able to press the button in time we catch him like way earlier that's not the important Thing at all. This is important. Pretty satisfying music. Satisfying uh, graphics. I mean, what's better than that? So yeah, I want to give huge shoutouts to the Ape Escape 2 community. Or Ape Escape in general. Squid for being a beast. Downy Brownie. B-Man. Uh, a lot of new runners. Well, new-ish runners. There's Zara for being pretty cool. Uh, Everts. Did I mention B-Man already? He speedruns literally every Ape Escape game except for Academy, I believe. So, um, I just got a 13 euro donation from Appletart saying, I want to see the bossy uh, monkeys and with that donation, the monkey football game has been met. Amazing. Woo! To all of you. All right. With that. Hmm. I actually need to... Actually. Uh, get Dexterra and ask him if he has a PS2 controller. Can you get it quick? All right, we're going. We're going to set it up real quick. Sorry for those noises, because uh, we will have some monkey football. <laughs> Put the memory card in because I can't have it in since all of the the extra stuff is loaded in. We'll have some quality soccer matches coming right up. So, I know that app Apple is going to play. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you, do you want to play against him? Oh, yes. I'm not, I'm not going to play. Okay, we got we got two football fans already. <laughs> Quickly load up the file. Loading my 100% file. That's a different category. And for the love of Batman, don't ever do 100% files. It's grinding and gotcha pawning. Alrighty, so you're getting the f uh, player one. Here. You are yeah. player two. Get Sonic. You need to get fast. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I 
this is what how that controls. Okay, the, the, the controls. You walk with the left analog stick. Uh, yeah. If you have the ball, you shoot with the right analog stick. If you don't have the ball, you just tackle with the right analog stick in the direction that you choose. And this is basically switching to a different character. If you have the ball, you pass the ball, and if you don't, you just twi switch to the other character. Oh. Uh, you will see. Actually, yeah. So this is where you uh, choose your team. You're on the left side. You're on the right side. Oh yeah. So yeah. <laughs> nice. I, I want that. I want those guys. A uh, circle is yeah. Can you translate Actually. this for me? Uh, there are a lot of stats. Don't worry about him. Ah uh, yeah. So we just like My this. team is ready. You could. You could. Uh, Okay, we're not we're not getting cool monkeys like uh, Santa monkey or ninjas. Yes. <laughs> how do I come back? How do we go back? Oh, you are it. Really? I guess triangle. There we go. How do I get Santa then? Uh, click on actually. I didn't load your file, so no! we need to go. We need to go. I you like. I need to go back to the main menu, I guess. <laughs> oh damn! I have no clue what all of this Japanese means. Yeah, we're just loading up the safe, uh, the same save file. Quality Dutch talking right here. Don't worry about it. Okay, so just press a monkey and then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good, good luck finding it. A uh, circle, yeah. There are like 300 monkeys to choose from. Oh, I saw Santi. Sent, Santi, Santa. Go up a little bit. One more, yeah. Second okay. one from the left. This one. Oh, hey, I see it. Oh, no. Is it circle? A type of monkey. I don't know. How do you just just look at Just look at the numbers. How do you, is it like this? Yeah. Hey. Uh, OP, dude. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm, they're I'm pretty making, good. I'm making a good team right now. They might have like bad health or something. Yeah, uh, loving monkey, let's go. Alright, my team is ready. Oh, there are no f DLC monkeys in here. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I like them from, yeah. You can, you can, you can go for as long as you want, but you're gonna lose anyway. <laughs> Oh. Ooh. You know what? Oh, I know that you actually play football. I do, in real life, but I'm... Have we got not play one? Oh, man, this is gonna be so awful. <laughs> oh, this is... This and controls I know it. Cheat! Right. Cheat! Bitch! What? What is this? <laughs> oh, yes, no! Okay, Broad got the ball. Come on. Why are you shooting? <laughs> <laughs> no! Get it! Where's our commentary? So... so <laughs> I'm just laughing too much. I'm, I'm not a good shoutcaster, okay? Oh, there, go. there we go. Okay, bro. Oh, he got the, he got the disco oh. monkey. Oh man. Okay, that's a oh. that's a regular monkey. Shoot it in the goal. The goalies are actually, uh, yeah, they're purely AI. Oh, yeah, if you <laughs> if you shoot it out of bounds, yeah, the the other monkey can actually get a different kind of ball. And there are five kind of balls. There's the normal one. The two-point ball, which is like oh. a bouncy ball, yes. a, oh. a volleyball that's like three po or three points. There's a bomb, a spiky ball, and bananas. We will probably see something dangerous. We got the spiky ball. They hit hard if you shoot it against a different, yeah, against a monkey. Like that monkey. Oh, get it. No. Oh. Yeah, oh. no. The strat for that is actually to shoot the the goalie. Unfortunately, this is like the heaviest ball ever, so good luck with that. Oh, get back. Referee! Referee! Do no. you really think there's a referee in here? It's monkeys. There's a monkey in a spacesuit, okay? And another monkey who is like ready to go clubbing. Oh, get it. Come on. You can oh, do this! 
Honestly, kick this ball out of bounds. You got a normal ball back. No. Okay. <laughs> no. X. Ba base goalie actually knocking out one of his oh, own set, teammates. That was the first attempt on the yellow goal, I do believe. I... Okay. Oh. Whoa, this safe! Woo. This guy is insane. Reminder that the goalie is actually not too bad. Absolutely One point for Mr. Broads. You pass by pressing one of the four face buttons. Oh, there you go. That's a fella threat. Just knock out all the whole team. You might even have to force them to switch in the like in the halftime. There's a health done? Yeah. We're not done yet? No! Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Joshy fell. I blame it on Joshy. Okay, so th so this is a two ball. If you if you score with this, you get two points. Oh, no, you won't. No, you won't. Come on, Apple. Seven seconds. Wow. <laughs> that was a good attempt. That was a good Quality attempt. teammates. Okay, okay. So you can substitute two monkeys. You both have one monkey that probably needs to get changed. Wait, how do I? Yeah, I want uh, circle or X. Oh, that's the Statue of Liberty monkey, I believe. I did my research. All of these monkeys are actually... Right. Oh no, I actually only substitute one. Uh, uh, no. One? What are you doing? Oh! Oh, whatever. That's chosen. I mean, you're going to win, right? Right. I mean, no, you have to. No, I mean, get okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm better than you. Just one point for Apple. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Those monkeys were like, what do I do with balls? Uh, <laughs> you play with them. You score. <laughs> 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 uh, ahead, Press the face button. Ooh, the oh. free ball. It's like, what is this? Really airy. Okay, that goes out of bounds again. Normal ball, not even a bomb. Sides have not switched, by the way. What is what's, this? what's my monkey doing? <laughs> monkey, stop your monkey business. It's helping you, okay? I, I mean, you su Well, I would say, but he already knocked out two of your teammates, so I'm not sure if he's a good goalie. Back in possession from Mr. Broads. Oh, oh yeah. Epic keeper safe. Okay, that's that's boxer monkey. Good. Is that a swabby? Yeah, that's a pirate swabby. Ah, uh, that was fake. No way. There you go, fake. No. Oh no! <laughs> I can do it the third time. No, what? This is like oh, old school no. FIFA, of course. Yeah, that's my time. This is like OG. Man, we got another spiky ball and just knock down the keeper. <laughs> or whoever else is in the way. Or you're out of your opposition, I agree. Those, Th those bananas are performance enhancing. Yeah. Bananas it was like. Or spiky? Roach keeper. Oh, that was a good kick. <laughs> so you can see the circle monkey is, uh, well. Overpowered. Scored with a spiky ball. Football? That must have hurt. I have never played FIFA for more than 10 hours. 10 hours is quite a lot for FIFA. Uh, 
in general. I mean, that's, that's all you need, right? Like the same all over again. Got a two ball. Come on, bro. It's... You, you, oh. you have some honor to uphold. Yeah, man. I, I did the ass with parts. This is bad, I mean, Circle is your attacker. Yeah, that was a good shot. Like, you really wanted that out of bounds, yep. right? Oh, that was a good one. So close. <laughs> it's also pretty easy to, like, make a self goal. Oh! Your keeper is on point. <laughs> he is almost dead, though. I can kill. Well, kill. Yeah, well, actually, you can. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, that's good. Shoot it! Shoot it! No. Why did you not shoot it? You did, you did oh. add it. You just tackled it. Uh, no, I had it. Like, right. There's a free ball. 14 seconds. Oh, that's This is intense. There is no overtime. Yeah. Not if I do this right. One against two. You ah, just come on, Brad. You're just messing him up on purpose, aren't oh, you? Yeah, there you go, yeah. <laughs> I just want to win at this stage. Of course I'm not. <laughs> you know, that's what it is. So yesterday we had someone win with like ten no points. Way. No way! Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that was a nice, nice match. Nice match. match. At least I'm still friends Thank for now. Thank you for your fantastic donation. Okay. Thank you. So yeah, shout out to both of the players. That was that was some fun. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, next time you win. We'll do this later. Yeah, in practice. You're gonna beat me, maybe. <laughs> oh, now no, they're mad at each other. Oh boy, that's good. All right, well, that's it for Ava's Shape 2 for now. Right after the, the break, we'll have Sita. Be doing Bastion a, a few days earlier because of uh, sickness issues. So yeah, thanks for uh, sticking around. I've been recalled. Apple tarts. Thank you so much. That's the winner. Mr. Broad, who's That's running away right now. Bye, bro. He's got to practice. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Thank and, you for watching. And I will be back tomorrow with Ape Escape Free. So yeah. That's going to be some hot fun. Have a good one. Well, thank you, Week, for that amazing ape escape run. Even though they couldn't escape that much, and uh, shoutouts to Appletart and Vote for doing that uh, good football game. I think they still need to learn the rules about that, but um, yeah. But uh, next up, we have Bastian by Xita, so um, that's also going to be. A great one. And uh, first we're going to play some ads, so uh, please stay tuned. <laughs> 